In this video, I'll give my thoughts about movies and streaming content that were made available at home this year. I'll list some of my favorites of the year, but this will be less of a ranking like I've done in some of my other videos and more of a walkthrough of my general impressions of the year. This has been a fantastic year for those fortunate enough to have a home theater. We've had releases from streaming services that are so good that they could have been released in the commercial theater. So starting with a look at streaming services, House of the Dragon is my favorite show of the year. The audio and video quality made for a fantastic home theater watch. The entire season from a story perspective and as a home theater experience is the best from a stream show I've had so far in my home theater. I did a review from a home theater perspective of a few episodes. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. The first episode in particular, the audio is outstanding. The audio of that episode is as good as maybe the best of any streamed movie or series. Check out my review. I walk through why I think so. Rings of Power was a weird one for me uh, because there was a lot that I liked about the show and a lot that I didn't like. But ultimately, when it was done, I thought the show was very good. I actually saw it again and liked it better the second time around. The video quality and cinematography is among the very best that I've seen from a streamed series in my home theater. The shots and the look of this show are on another level. Andor is another fantastic series. It's dramatic. It's intense. It's a really good slow burn of a show and another show where the production value is top notch. Some of my other favorites of the year in no particular order, Stranger Things, audio and video quality were good. Every episode really played like a movie. Each were entertaining throughout. All of Us Are Dead, a great series for zombie fans, excellent video quality and good audio. It leans YA, but it's an entertaining ride. The Sandman, a quirky, slow burn, episodic series, excellent visuals. Bridgerton, tons of deep, bold colors, outstanding visuals, good video quality, a very dramatic and entertaining series. Obi-Wan and Moon Knight, both had cool moments. Overall, they were both just okay to me. Their stories could have been better, but from a home theater perspective, they were actually pretty good watches. Moving on to streaming movies, my favorite streaming movie releases this year were Prey, The Atom Project, and The Gray Man. I completely get that these probably won't be everyone's favorite, but these are mine. Definitely leave yours in the comments below. The Adam Project and The Gray Man both made it into my top five home theater Netflix original movies list at number two and number four, respectively. These movies are fun, action-packed rides, and excellent home theater watches. The Adam Project, in particular, I gave that movie a 10 for audio quality. Prey was my favorite streaming movie of the year. Now, as I mentioned in my review of this movie, video and audio quality were just okay, but the movie itself was great, and despite the okay-ish audio and video quality, it still was a really good home theater watch. These movies didn't release in commercial theaters, so to be able to still watch these movies in the way they should be watched in a theater-like setting was a really just a huge treat this year. There were some really good movies released on 4K Blu-ray this year, both new releases and re-releases. Two movies that made it into my top 10 home theater movie list are Top Gun Maverick and Edge of Tomorrow. Some of my other favorites were Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness, Spider-Man No Way Home, The Batman, Starship Troopers. Now, I know that that's been out for a while on 4K Blu-ray, but I'm going to count it because the still book released this year. Everything, Everywhere, All at Once... Dune, and RoboCop. Now, Jurassic World Dominion, Moonfall, and Matrix Resurrection were also released this year. These were very good home theater watches. Not my favorite movies, but a decent weekend watch and a good home theater watch in terms of audio and video quality. So those are my favorite releases in 2022 for the home theater. Just keep in mind, these are only movies and series that I've seen in my home theater, and they're based on my likes and my setup. Please share your favorites in the comments below.